We are talking about equilateral and isosceles triangles, and we want to use properties of isosceles triangles and use properties of equilateral triangles. So the isosceles triangle parts, we have the base angles, and those are the two angles adjacent to the base and opposite the congruent sides. So right there is the base angles. They're adjacent to the base, and they are opposite the congruent side. So that's one congruent side. That's the other congruent side. Those are opposite. And we will show that these are uh, congruent as well. And then we have the vertex angle. And the vertex angle is the angle that's opposite the base. So there's the vertex angle opposite the base. Then we have the isosceles triangle theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite those sides, the base angles, are congruent. So here we have two congruent sides. So that means that the sides opposite are also congruent. And then we have the converse isosceles triangle theorem. If two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the sides opposite those angles are congruent. So if we know that these sides are congruent, so here we have, we'll mark this one with three and mark this one with three because they're all 65 degrees, then those sides opposite are also congruent. Then we have the equilateral triangle corollaries. If a triangle is equilateral, a triangle is equilateral if and only if it is equiangular. So if we know that all the sides are congruent, that's equilateral, all equal sides. So equilateral means equal sides. Then it has to be equiangular, equal angles. So if all the sides are congruent, then all the angles are congruent. Each angle in an equilateral or equiangular triangle measures 60 degrees. So if they're all equal, they all have to measure 60 degrees.